there's this excavator on a lake that spins a rope around with a wakeboard on it. It kind of spins in one spot so you could film everything. The front part of your brain is the part that makes you human. Mm -hmm. And when it's hurt, you can be impulsive and say things maybe you shouldn't say or do things you shouldn't do. Yeah. Um, Sounds about right. And that's why we have to fix it. This is what happened. It is what it is. Now I can document my healing over time. I covered it up and I put on prosthetic makeup and I played up the injuries as a joke like it was fake because I was so embarrassed what happened. It's when you're authentic, people connect. I put on this character that is very narcissistic and arrogant and kind of like a New York asshole. Um, a lot of the questions I'll ask are backhanded to set up the guests that I have in my talk shows. Um, just for comedy. I, I have a barbershop show where I give people haircuts and I put them on edge intentionally so we could see them in a different light than they are in other interviews. It's it's kind of like an original thing because I'm the barber that's doing the haircut that people don't know if I'm an actual trained barber, which I am, but they don't know if they're gonna get their hair screwed up. Every time, you, even if you walk into a new hair salon and there's a licensed barber, you don't know if they're gonna get your, your, your stuff right anyway. So they're coming to this maniac guy that's gonna torture them while they're getting a haircut and being filmed with bright lights and, and five cameramen all around. So that's the content, that I, that's a part of the content that I make and that's what a lot of people know me for and they think I'm like that in real life. But that's a character that I put out because if I, I, I kinda had time to see what I was getting into with this YouTube career and a lot of people put themselves out there and they make themselves very vulnerable. And I always said that I don't want to do that because I don't want to open myself up to criticism from people that is actually me. If it's a character that they're mad at, if they're like, why is this guy an asshole? Then I'm fine with that because I know I'm doing a character. But when it's me and it's my real life and I'm talking about my real stuff, that's when I get scared because I'm like, okay, now I have millions of people that hate me for me. And that's a little difficult to deal with. This is it, this is the receipts. We got receipts now on why I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm just joking around. <laughs> I have an addiction, huh? I, like I'm an addict. Are you able well, to tell I mean, that? yes. I'm addicted to candy. I could, I could have a piece of candy and then I'll end up, you know, down in three bags at Skittles. How much weed am I allowed to smoke? I'm sorry? How much weed can I smoke? None. Zero. Zero. Okay. Only if you want to close the hole. <sighs> okay. That's where I get my ideas from sometimes. Sometimes a little a little weed gives me a, a million dollar idea. I don't know. Does that does that sound dumb to you? I, you're looking at me like I just said something completely <laughs> idiotic. I don't want you hurting your brain. Okay. I want you loving your brain. And but where that's am I going to get my question. ideas? How am I going to pull them they out? They come when your brain is healthier, you make more money. Because when you get a great idea, you'll be able to follow through. I could see that with alcohol, I was numbing my brain. And there were so many parts of it that I didn't unlock because I was hungover. I was either depressed the next day because of the, the aftermath of alcohol. and. I thought at the time of drinking it, it would give me confidence and make me funnier and more charismatic and likable, the life of the party. But in turn, that would just make me worse the next day when I have to film videos for millions of people. And yeah, cool, I was funny to my five idiot friends the night before, but now I have to go and entertain millions of people and my brain's not as sharp as it should be. So that's why I switched from drinking alcohol to smoking a little weed, so I could still get a disconnect kind of from stress and, and reality and come up with funny ideas for, you know, I'm, continue, I'm creating content every day. So I have to come up with ideas every day, every night. 
and this is throughout the stress of my life so it gets difficult sometimes sometimes I need to de-stress and be like okay let's think of some funny stuff there's a lot of pressure because when you don't post on YouTube for a while and you take time off you kind of have a sense of you have to make a, a huge comeback it's just something that goes on in our heads as creators because oh, it sounds like a lot of pressure yeah and then oh of course you have the the criticism of the internet and that doesn't help if you look into that every when, idiot has a voice mm -hmm. but I've been in bad situations before I've been jumped I've been I've had my head beat up pretty bad just like as a kid you know and I do joke around about it a lot like I've made it a big part of my routine but well, it sounds like you're an entertainer as well I always wanted to be an entertainer but you know the traditional way of doing things was a lot harder I try to turn the negatives into positives and if I could Good. be self-deprecating and use that as a joke that I could translate into dollars and use that to translate into helping people or whatever I could do then you know that's the only way to deal with it I feel like what else am I gonna do sit around and cry feel sorry for myself you know do you take any supplements now I take Ambien to sleep at night. I've had sleep apnea ever since I was a kid. I remember my first day of school. I couldn't sleep before because I was too excited. I was happy. I had my outfit laid out and I was ready. So you got tested and they found you had sleep apnea? Just a, a, a general um, Did you physician. do a sleep study? Because no. that's a big deal. Because if you really have sleep apnea, you should have a CPAP. Um, I should have a what? It's called a CPAP. It's a breathing device. Okay. So one of the things I'm going to recommend is you actually see a sleep doctor. And see I just can't turn it. my brain off. My, my wheels are turning at night and my and ideas Ambien are going out at is night. not going to help us. So Ambien is sort of like having, marijuana. Having a cocktail or something. Yeah. A glass of wine. It's the same thing. And then once you start it, it's hard to stop. It. Okay. But I have alternatives. Okay. seek that um, validation I guess I just wanted to push myself to make something bigger so I thought I'd make a documentary on skydiving I'm learning how to get certified and jump out of a plane by myself I'm scared of heights and I'm obviously scared of death I thought it would be a good um, just a good piece I can make a good piece out of it because I was so scared in the beginning and then at the end I would be so comfortable and you could see this all in this short that we would be able to make and hopefully it would help people out. I mean, it's kind of nuts. You don't really get over the fact that you're jumping out of a plane. And, and you had 25 jumps? So the school requires 25 jumps to graduate. I was at about 18. Any idiot with 300 bucks could jump out of an airplane. I, I admire you for, it's like I have this fear. I'm going to face it. I'm going to film it. I admire that. And then what's the deal with boxing? I, I, I love combat sports. So, you know, I just I just reenact what I see on TV with YouTubers. It's like uh, become this new uh, form of income for some creators where they, they're able to just fight somebody, get in the ring, well, you know, you got pillows on your fists, but it is a fight and you're able to make a couple million dollars when you have no fighting experience. I know one of our young influencers logan paul yeah decided his brother decided to get involved in that he's doing great now <laughs> he redeemed his career a lot of people did not like him and he found a way to profit off of that he found yeah. a way to monetize hate so if you could turn a negative into a positive i just want you to be more anxious mm -hmm. about protecting your brain you actually had a hematoma when you were little and you had a baseball yeah yeah, I had Injury. a baseball off the back of the head. Right. The third baseman threw it to the first baseman, and I was the pitcher on the side warming up, and it clocked me right in the back of the head and put me out. It's the only other time I've been knocked out in my life. I did the big NFL study. When the NFL was lying, they had a problem. And 2007, CT. Anthony Davis came to see me. He was the Hall of Fame running back from USC. <laughs> His brain was a mess. And just on the supplement, a couple of months later, he's dramatically better. And then I scanned him. I have his scans 10 years apart. 
Mm -hmm. They're much, much better. Okay. 80% of my players, and I publish this in a scientific journal, on the supplements and lifestyle changes, 80% of my players were better. Better memory, better mood, better sleep, better motivation. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, that's And they great. have brains that were often worse than your brain. If you leave here and you go, oh, Dr. Amon's crazy, I'm gonna go back to drinking. No. Your brain's gonna look like this. So if we don't do anything, it's not going to be good. Oh, no. Get it together. You got one shot. You think we got three times to do this? No. It's Why didn't one he time. get it right? He took a disposable photo while he was doing the, the shot, and he focused more on the disposable photo for some reason. Yeah, you screwed up. You got to think things through. What do you think is more important, a video of the jump or a stupid disposable photo that's probably out of focus and blown out? And I don't even want to know. So he made a mistake. He made a mistake, yeah. And business owners, you mm -hmm. and me, right? Business owners. We know people make mistakes. Yeah. But what I want to teach you is how not to suffer by the thoughts you have. Okay. So I call them ants, automatic negative thoughts. The thoughts that come into your mind automatically and ruin your day. Mm -hmm. Question number one. There's five questions. Okay. And I want you how do to we fix? post them. How do we fix this? We just question. Yeah. So is it true? And I'm not a fan of positive thinking. Yeah. Because positive thinking is I can go home and get wasted tonight and I'll be fine. I'm a fan of accurate thinking. Yeah. I need to take care of my brain because it's hurt. So if you try to solve a problem with getting wasted, you're just going to give yourself another problem in the morning. That's right. So. Let's just go with he's an idiot. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Partially. Partially. So it already begins to crack it. The second question is it absolutely true. Okay. Um, <laughs> is it absolutely true? The answer is probably no, or you wouldn't have kept him. No, second. yeah, it's no. He's, right? not, he's not absolutely an idiot. Question three. I love all these questions. How do you feel when you believe the thought? He's an idiot. How does the thought make you feel? It makes me feel... When you have this thought, you feel confused. Yeah. Angry. Yes. And stressed. Yes. So this thought isn't serving you. Yeah. It's not making your life better. Uh-huh. Um, question number four. How do you feel, or how would you feel, without the thought? If you couldn't have that thought, how would you feel? If I didn't have the thought of him being an idiot, I would probably feel... A lot more confident. Yeah, the best. But if thing I'm about, going around thinking Jeff's an idiot, yeah, I'm always unhappy. You're right. My favorite question is number five, and it's the opposite. You know, sometimes I put a lot of responsibility on everybody, like to handle more than just one job, and yeah, he, you're the CEO. Yeah, of your company. Right? Yeah. I mean, and you've grown a big company. It's amazing what you've done. Um, Thank you. So he's not an idiot. You can see parts of that. Or you can turn it around, Tom, an idiot, because I kept him. Or, um, and none of these are right or wrong. Mm -hmm. They're like meditations. It's, you just think about it. Mm -hmm. um, whatever thoughts trouble you, if you do this exercise, you'll feel better.